We are really clear now that there's never been more way for, better time from our from a technological perspective that we can connect to each other, right? So we can text or FaceTime anybody around the world at any second. Um, what you can't ever replace, which we are really struggling to make sense of, is face-to-face -face connection. So there's a physiological change that happens when you and I are in the same room. Uh, how I uh, can sort of regulate you and you regulate me happens very differently than it does over text or email. There's no interpretation, all of those kind of things. Yeah? And so you get my best self and the best self of your employees or your husband or your children when you can regulate each other. So emotional regulation means not losing your friggin' mind. So when you're emotionally dysregulated, you're, you're jacked. You're mad or you're super sad or your emotion is big. And emotional regulation means really how to calm, how to soothe. When a two-year-old um, feels unheard or disrespected or um, they lose their minds. And what it takes to get them back is the same thing that it takes our employees uh, to get back on track with things. Um, and as a, if you're leading a, a farm, a company, a, an organization of any sort, your primary job is really around regulating people. So when we're talking about the capacity to regulate another human being, you often need space before you start to give direction. And if you are leading anybody or you're a parent, often you're called on to give answers right? Fix this for me. What do I do when? How do I do this? Tell, you're not telling me what to do or, you know, all of those things. And we often then are very compelled to fix it, to provide a strategy or an answer or a suggestion, right? Somebody says that they're not feeling well. Okay, did you try this? Did you do these things? Yeah. And what we really, I think the most masterful people on the planet learn the art of holding space for another before they teach, before they fix, before they provide a strategy. And holding space is so hard for us to do, particularly when it looks like the fix is so easy or the strategy would be so perfect. But what we miss quite often is the holding space, which is where we regulate emotion. So there's a few things that always help me in that regard, and that is to use just those simple things to remind me. What am I, instead of fixing before I decide to do that, and I, we still can, but in that middle ground, can I say things like, tell me more. Uh, what am I missing? What is the worst part? And when you buy yourself some time to get the other guy, kid or your partner or whoever, regulated, and then you have more of a reasonable human being to whatever it means, you know, whatever discussions you need to have. But it is that holding space that is so tricky.